haven't really talked to you guys since watching the scrimmage film. So I do think we made significant improvement in a lot of areas. But still, the question remains, can you complete a simple task on a consistent basis so that you can play winning football? And that's the question that a lot of players have to answer, especially, you know, some of the backup players, the less experienced players who are getting plenty of reps now, but they have to take advantage of the opportunity. And, you know, it comes down to what I said last year. You've got to prepare yourself so when you get a chance to play, you can take advantage of that because you are ready to play rather than focusing on too many other things. You control what you say, what you think, and what you do. And what somebody else does, what somebody else says, what somebody else thinks really doesn't matter. So it's important to stay focused and keep the main thing the main thing, especially at this point in time, because you know, right now we got to start deciding, all right, who are we going to coach? Who are we going to bring along? Who are we going to play on special teams? How many guys can we travel with? What's their role going to be? And guys have had lots of opportunity to find that. So um, hopefully we'll get more and more guys that you know, are ready to play winning football so that we have more depth on the team because we, we definitely need that to get through you know, the kind of schedule, the kind of difficult challenges that we're going to have in the future but other than that i nothing else to really you know report um we continue this week to work on you know other opponents who do different things and you know we'll do, do a little bit on the first game tomorrow but really not really start on that till friday full full metal jacket in year two now with james burnup how is he adjusting uh and how has he been this preseason I'm sorry. James Burnup, the punter. Yeah, James has made a, a lot of improvement. He's got really good potential. I think the biggest thing that he has to continue to do is consistency. Now, when he takes the right steps and he drops the ball, uh, he's got a really powerful leg. But he's just got to do that on a really, really consistent basis, and he's gotten a lot better. So we have a lot more confidence. I think he has a lot more confidence. I think he feels a lot better uh, about, you know, the situation that he's in and what's expected of him. And he's done a good job this fall camp. With the inside linebackers, have you seen that competition come along, especially with some of those young guys who you said were, were swimming after that first scrimmage? Well, I, I think that um, – You know, we have three guys now that for two positions that you definitely can count on. And then we got about four other guys who really all have the ability to do it, that need to continue to make improvement. Those are the kind of guys on our team that I'm really talking about. You know, what do you have to do to prepare so you can take advantage of an opportunity when you get it? So that we're not making mental errors and we're not just gifting you know, to the other team because we're not sure what we're doing and we're not confident in how to do it and can't go out there and play fast and play team defense. So that's what we got to continue to do. When you're talking about linebackers, when you don't fit runs right and you leave a gap open, you get gashed. So um, we, we definitely need for those guys to continue to improve. Coming off the injury for Jace McClellan, what stood out to you about uh, his fall camp? He's done great. He's really played well. Um, no limitations, no limitations in scrimmages, no limitations in practice. Explosive, made some really good runs in the last scrimmage, made a lot of people miss. Good receiver, can play with power. So he's he's done really well. What have you seen from the mentality of your offensive linemen in terms of wanting to go out and dominate their opponents, being physical? And I'm, I'm encouraged by the improvements that we made in the offensive line. Uh, we seem to have uh, a little better mentality. Uh, I think the personality of their coach has definitely added something to the, to the mentality of how we play and what we're doing and how we're doing it. And I think the personality of the players is uh, certainly – something that has been a, a real positive in terms of how they've approached things and what they've tried to do. So you know, I feel more comfortable in the running game that we have. And 
we're, we're, we're able to pass protect, I think a little better. So, um, you know, I, I, I've been really pleased with the progress that group has made. You mentioned a few weeks ago that Tyler Harrell needed to channel things in the right direction. Just to what extent have you seen that uh, in the last couple of weeks? I, I think he's, well, first of all, he had a foot sprained foot for a while, so he wasn't able to practice all the time. But now the last, probably the last scrimmage and the last, you know, this week, Tuesday, Wednesday of this week, starting to get more reps. I think he's starting to get more confident. Um, I do think that um, he's a guy that, because of his speed, uh, can help us. I think he's got to continue to make progress, and we're certainly working with him, and he's had a great attitude about doing it, and we'll just sort of keep on keeping on with him. Sticking with the wide receiver position, you had mentioned Kobe Prentice having a good scrimmage after the, the first scrimmage. Just what does he bring to the offense, and do you see him as a possible impact player this season? Well, uh, I, I think that He's showing promise with his quickness uh, playing in the slot. Uh, I think his opportunities have increased, you know, since JoJo got hurt. So uh, and he's taken advantage of it and played, you know, fairly well. I still think he's got a, uh, a ways to go in terms of knowledge of the offense and, you know, doing things exactly like we'd like for him to do it. But he's got a great work ethic. He works hard every day. He's got a great audit attitude. He's really positive and upbeat about what he's doing. He doesn't get frustrated easily. So I think all those things are contributing to his development. What have you seen uh, from Jordan Battle, and, and what makes him such a strong safety in your program? Well, Jordan's, first of all, a very bright guy. He's got really good work ethic. He loves the game. He loves to play, loves to practice. He sets a good example. He's a good leader. He's got a really, really good understanding of everything that we're doing in the secondary. Of course, he's got lots of experience, uh, but he's a bright guy. And because he's very conscientious to go with really good ability, he's got really good size. He's improved his ability to cover people, uh, I think, a lot last year and this spring and this fall so far. So, um, I just think he's really a complete player, and uh, I think he's helping other players play better with his leadership. Communication is so important in the secondary, and when you have confident guys that aren't afraid to call out, it, it helps other people around them play with more confidence as well, and he certainly contributed to that in a very positive way. Hey, can we just get an update on the cornerback battle, specifically with Eli Ricks' injury? With whose injury? Eli yeah, well, um, you know, there's a lot of competition. I can't tell you who the starters are. I think we've got four guys, maybe five, that are all competing for positions, and they're all making progress. A couple guys were hurt. You know, Kyrie missed a few days. Eli missed, you know, a whole week. So, but they're all battling. And they're all competition, and hopefully the competition's making them better. But I, I can't say, uh, other than that, I really can't say much about any of them. They're all working hard, and there's a lot of competition at the position, and we'll see how it shakes out. You talked about Emmanuel Henderson working at wide receiver. Is he a guy that could maybe wear a lot of hats for you guys, and just have you seen him kind of progress? Yeah, he's making progress, I think. Because of his speed, I think he could be a really good special teams player for us as well. He's got, you know, a great work ethic, really good person, uh, very conscientious. And I think that's helped his development. Uh, I think that he can help us at that position. And I think he will before the season's out. And we're just we're keep working on, you know, helping him develop. But I'm encouraged by his athleticism, his ability, his attitude, his work ethic, and, you know, how is it, how he's going about developing as a player. Uh, there's a book out right now about your leadership style. I was wondering, do you ever plan to write a book? Well, I wrote one once. Uh, I don't plan to read the new book that's out. I, I don't really know what's in it. And I don't know what is right, what is wrong, what is good, what is bad. Um, I used to get really upset when people did things like this, but 
I've kind of learned it kind of is the way of the world now. Um, we don't endorse the book in any way. I don't plan to sign any of those books because I haven't read it. I don't know what's in it. And I don't know what's correct and what's incorrect. So, but it is what